Hey, what's up? David Cohen here for Learn Now FX and welcome back to another exciting Fusion tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own custom preset in LensMaster Flares. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is grab a background node. So we have a layer to add our flare to. And now I'm going to click Control Spacebar on my keyboard to search for LensMaster Flares. And I am going to send this to the viewer. And I'm using a single viewer and I'll explain why later. So I need to open my preset builder in order to start building a preset. And all of the Lens Master Flares presets are made using these 14 core elements. So you can open up every preset and see which elements are in there. You can customize those presets and save them as a custom preset, or you can build your own preset from scratch. So I'm going to start off. I'm just going to move these notes here. I'm going to start off by adding a shine and sending this to the viewer. And I want to hide these on-screen widgets because they are a little bit distracting to me, but some people I know that they like working with them. But when it comes to working with flares, I don't like using the on-screen widgets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the number of rays. And to this, I'm going to add a multi-iris. And the multi-iris is a little bit rounded to make it look a little bit more organic. So I like the way it is by default. About the roundness, you can actually bring the roundness to zero, make it completely sharp. You can even make it round in a little bit to make it like a star, something like that. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I want to change the size. I want to bring it down, something like that. And I want to bring the opacity to three, and I want to bring the brightness to one. So here are our elements. This is our uh, multi iris. Now I'm going to change the color. So I want to bring this color to probably the nice blue like this. And the color too, I want to bring it to like an orangish color. So I'm going to move this flare around to see how it looks. I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks. It's nice. And I am going to add a hoop, make something like this. And I'm going to bring down the number of rays and probably bring down the length and bring up the softness, have something like this. And also maybe bring up the softness to 15. Bring the gain to 0.3. And that looks pretty good. Maybe bring the gamma to 0.8. And now it's a very subtle looking hoop. So the hoop, as you know, it scales and rotates with the position of the flare on the screen. So this is our preset. I like the way it looks. It's pretty nice. And this is a way that you can create your own custom preset. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all of these to default. And here's our global tint which I don't like to use a lot because I don't like to have the same tint for every element because the more colors you have, the more realistic it looks. Like not drastically, but you might you want to have like a range of colors, even different shades of blue or different shades of color. It just makes it look more realistic. But what I can do, I can go to the shine and click use global tint. So now this global tint only affects the shine. So I can bring it down, bring a little bit more saturation. That looks good. Now, if I want to save this preset, you want to select all of these nodes. And there are actually three ways to save a preset, and I'm going to show you all three right now. So you would select these nodes, all of the elements, plus the Lens Master Flares node. And what I like to do is actually hide these on screen widgets for everything else except the Lens Master Flares node. Just going to go down, hide all of these widgets. And I'm going to select all four nodes. And you, may, you have to make sure that the Lens Master Flares is part of your preset. And I'm just going to click this Save Preset button. And here we have the name of our file. And this is already the correct name. It has to have this name for it to work. So you just need to change the number. So I already have one preset. So I have to name this one two. So it has to be lm preset2.setting. So you just copy this because there are 
two more ways to make the preset and I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to click save and this little window pops up that says your preset was saved successfully. And I'm going to create a thumbnail for this so we can find it in our custom presets browser. So this is full HD and you can't make a thumbnail so large, otherwise the custom presets browser will become very slow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scale down this background to something like 200 by 115. And I know you don't really see much quality in this, but it's a thumbnail, so you don't really need to see that much. It's going to be small. So to save a thumbnail, you need to you need to select these nodes like that and click Save Preset Icon. And I'm going to change the number to 2 because it has to match the number of our preset. So you have space for up to 15 presets, starting from 1 and ending at 15. But you have to make sure that the caps are the same if you want it to appear in your custom presets browser. So it's lm preset2.png. So I'm just going to save it. Now, you don't even have to restart DaVinci Resolve to find your preset. You would just go to Lens Master Flares and go to Custom Preset Browser. And as you can see, we have this second one. And this is the first one that I made earlier to practice. So what I can do is I can select this background node and click this. And we have these nodes. It will appear in the same way as before, like in the form of nodes. That's the first way to do it. I'm going to close this and I'm going to delete that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the second way. So I'm going to highlight these nodes and I'm going to group them. And I'm just going to give this preset a cool name. Maybe even call it cool. Or something like my cool preset. And this is our preset. And I'm going to click on save preset. And as you can see, the file name has disappeared because we grouped it. That's why I copied the file name. So lm preset to that setting. And it's going to ask if I want to replace it. And I'm going to click yes. And it says your preset will save successfully. And now if I get rid of this over here, and if I add a Lens Master Flares node again, and I try to browse this, if I try to look at the custom preset browser, and I add this, you'll see that it is now added as a group instead of a tree of nodes. But there's still one other way to save a preset. And this is the best way to do it, but it isn't the easiest way. So I'm just going to undo all the stuff that I did including grouping this. All right, so here are our here are our nodes, and this is everything we used to build the preset. And remember that I copied the name of the preset. So I'm just going to select all of this, and I'm going to go to Macro and Create Macro. So here you can actually give it any name you want. You can actually name it My Cool Flare or something like that. And the hoop, you need the output, and it will be selected automatically. And on the Lens Master Flares node, I'm just going to select the Occlusion and Effect Mask in this area. And I'm just going to select all of these controls here under the controls, including the Global Tint and all of these controls. All right. Now I'm going to File and click Save as a group. Now I'm just going to paste the name LM, capital L, capital M, preset with a capital P, 2. So you can do from 1 to 15. And if you have four flares, you have to type 5. So you don't overwrite your existing presets. And I'm going to click Save. And yes, I do want to replace it because this is a tutorial. And I'm just going to get rid of this. And I am going to open the custom preset browser again. And I am going to select this one. And as you can see, now it's a group. It's a group and it has controls. So I don't have to open up the group in order to edit the controls. I have the center, I have all of these different things. And now if I take the background and change it back to the resolution of our project, 
you'll see that we have our preset. And you can make as many presets as you want. You can even share the dot setting files with your friends, like if that also have uh, lens master flares. So you can, so you can like cooperate with the uh, with the presets that you use. And this is actually a very cool way. I like the third way of doing it the most because now you can actually even edit the color, maybe even make it like an orange, something like that, like a dark or like that. And we have. All of the controls that you'll basically need for a lens flare, including the size, and this is the global size, so it affects everything. And the angle, and this is actually a little interesting. And you can even have the occlusion controls here if you like. So that's basically it on how to create your very own lens flare preset in Lens Master Flares. I hope you guys like this video. Until next time, I'm David Cohen, and this is Learn Now Effects.